Hello there brothers and sisters of the Vault Blades universe, you're watching Vault Blades Addict again, welcome back to the channel and today we have another review of our premium tank which is the FV201A45. Uh, this tank was recently uh, on the event, the last event, I won it uh, and I put some nice camo on it which really looks uh, quite nice. But what's more about the tank? It's a tier 7, tier 7 Canavan. <laughs> Feels like it. Uh, it's a blend of Canavan and, uh, uh, I don't know, the Black Prince. The DPM is outstanding. Uh, it has uh, ex extremely, extremely uh, uh, tough turret, which you can't pan really uh, with uh, nothing. <laughs> So it's a typical, another British typical hold-down tank when you should uh, hide your hole and just show your turret. It has nice gun depression, DPM is really great. So, uh, what more? It's a tier 7 heavy, uh, but feels small like a medium tank. It goes around 30, over 30 kilometers an hour. So it's a really, really nice speed. It's more mobile than... Uh, than a black prince but not so heavily armored so uh, it's more of a, a hiding pick a boom uh, tank or uh, try to hold your hide your hole be behind the bomb and set your turret up and just uh, shoot your enemies uh, because uh, it has small guns so the dpm is great the accuracy is great but it has low alpha damage we're gonna quickly get a view of the stats than the uh, equipment and we're gonna go straight to the gameplay so to make a long story short we're gonna just uh, go straight to straight to the stats so 1450 hit points which is really nice for tier 7 heavy really nice hit pool uh, as it comes for armor on turret 152 on front 88 on sides and rear 76 on the hull 50 on on front 50 on sides and 38 on the rear so it's a really uh bad armor as it comes for the hull um view range is 271.2 meters which is quite nice for a heavy tank um camo isn't great but st sorry but still is quite fine camo isn't great but still is quite fine uh as it comes for dpm as i told you 3000 dpm 3.2 seconds uh, reload time average penetration on AP is 171 on APCR 239 and on HE only 20 so the penetration stats aren't great it's a low caliber gun so that's about it but you always can use APCR because it's a premium and it will still earn money so it's all good average damage 160 typical for the Brits uh, low, low, low penetration, uh, low uh, caliber guns. Uh, so 160 on AP, 135 on APCR, and uh, 200 on HE. Aiming time is 2.8 seconds using all the bells and whistles. So uh, that's it. No, nothing more. Dispersion is uh, 3.08, which is really, really nice. Uh, depression and elevation angles uh, are uh, quite nice 20 uh, gun the 20 degrees of gun elevation and 8 degrees of gun depression could be more but still it's quite nice uh, top speed 31 as i told you uh, forward and uh, 16 on uh, reverse average speed is 30 it gains speed quite uh, fast so it's really, really nice uh, power to weight ratio is 15.7 weight is 55 almost 56 tons so if you need to ram you can ram in this tank no no problem no. Uh, third traverse speed is quite nice 43.74 uh, for heavy quite nice hull traverse speed with the booster uh, 37 and 42 which isn't that bad um, and that's all for those stats. Let's go check the consumables and then let's go for the gameplay. So here's my consumable standard uh, multi-purpose restoration pack, repair kit and adrenaline. As for provisions, I'm using pudding and tea, black tea and improved fuel. Uh, quickly view on the ammo. So uh, 58 rounds of AP, 13 rounds of APCR and uh, 
three rounds of HE because as you can see the HE penetration is really low so I'm just keeping it to decap if needed uh, and that's pretty much all <laughs> that I'm gonna use HE on. As for equipment I'm using gun rammer because uh, as you can see it has 3000 uh, DPM with the gun rammer which is really great same as the cockroach was which was recently uh, reviewed by me uh, so it's really really nice DPM I'm using enchanted gun laying drive uh, I'm not even using vertical stabilizer by now uh, but I probably gonna just buy it to get the aim time even better or maybe I will get the dispersion now I'll get the aim time so vertical stabilizer uh, improved modules uh, enchanted armor because I told you the turret is really tough to pan so it's really nice to have an extra 4% of armor there I would use a uh, toolbox and uh, improved uh, optics improved control of course for a heavy tank is always useful and high-end consumables so the first game is the supremacy on Faust I decided to push D but I wanted to match to uh, mats uh, and TDs uh, for the support to push uh, the A but they all decided to go D I don't know why but it's all well and good so we're just pushing up here trying to cap the D cap I don't know what's going on in here <laughs> the sentinel and the type really wants to get some fun in here uh, but we're just proceeding further because as you can see the most of the enemies uh, we spotted on C so they didn't uh, push on the other flank KV1S is just on the, in the open so it's going to be cleared in a second and now we just uh, we're gonna just ignore the KV2 up up the hill and go on a push on this uh, T34 uh, 2G TFT 2 GFT because we just wanna clear him. We have DPM to do it, and I could just push more forward, but still I'll be able to clear him before he shoots me. And now we're gonna push forward for the enemy FE. Unfortunately, this shot didn't went in. Well, we have nice shots. Uh, Someone is shooting me from the back, so I decided to push a bit forward. But I want, really want to clear it. Unfortunately, we bounce this shot and he'll be able to run away. But as soon as I turn out, uh, the panther is behind me. So we're gonna just uh, face hug him because we have very strong, we have a very strong turret and he has the DPM to clear me. So we're just gonna stick stick our hat into straight into his frontal plate and we're just gonna push 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 so we are face hugging he can't get his gun down enough to get our hole with every shot as you can see he went uh, well went in and rest is bouncing so all well and good now it's cleared and now we can proceed So as you can see there's only one enemy left I decided to cap instead of uh, pushing on that AFK drag because uh, I wasn't sure that he was uh, truly AFK but uh, true is that uh, we never seen him on the full battle so uh, probably he's there and as soon as we going up the hill he's there so we're just gonna try to get some shots in and I don't know how did I bounce the Dracula and for the second time we hit the tracks and now we're just gonna pump him up just to get a bit more damage and we're getting a kill also so we uh, bounced 640 damage we did uh, 3000 and 46 damage received the second class received the high caliber the steel wall I don't know why this uh, it's a potential damage okay so that's why we get the steel wall 
uh, with the three kills earn 68,000 credits. Uh, as you can see, top XP, it's quite hard, as I, as I can see, it's quite hard to, uh, uh, to master uh, the FE uh, 201 because uh, we received of almost 1,200 XP points and that gave, they gave us only the second class. So probably it's gonna be quite hard to master this tank. As it comes for the credits, even without a premium account, you will still receive over 30,000 and over 60,000 with premium. And the second and last game I wanted to show you is one of our first games in this tank and we're on uh, Yamato Harbor, it's an encounter battle. We are top tier here and we're gonna push C because it's a typical hull down tank so C is better for us to uh, get our hull hidden behind the uh, bombs and just push the enemies on this side. Uh, so we're just pushing in. Meanwhile no one is no one is uh, spotted. Pro Cromwell is probably AFK. So we're just getting uh, the medium positions. We're just gonna go here and hide our hull. As you can see the Cromwell B is there, the Rudy is there. Uh, Rudy was a good player. Uh, I can tell you that he was he know he knew what he was doing. And it's as you can see, if you're moving your tank while well, you're really hard to hit target. But we bounce with shots on turret. He can't get us. We can't get him. So it's all good. He's trying to. He does with HE, but he really can't pen us even with HE. And now I decided just to relocate because there's no need to just uh, get hit and the same thing as he. And we're just gonna pump the tiger here. And we're gonna clear him for our first kill. And the Rudy is is still here as you can see he's defending the flank all well and good just fluffed him some shots which wasn't good but now it's time to move on there's no need to stay here we're winning on, on tanks we set him on fire and in this time it's five on six so it's all good we're winning this match but i decided to push even further on because if we stay at the back, it's not going to be nothing good. We need to push forward because there's no enemies. We can we didn't spot anything, so we, now we have to spot something for our team to shoot. And that's what we're doing. We're spotting the enemies, getting our shots of opportunity while driving. SU will be soon cleared, so we can just ignore it and just push on the front one shot on WZ we got spotted again I know there's a KV-2 up the hill so we're gonna just push on this KV-2 and the WZ my side shots on the KV-2 unfortunately we flopped the shots but we have the WZ here which we didn't hit also so we just I just decided to push on the KV-2 and uh, get separated he's separated we're gonna separate ourselves from the enemies so that can't hit us and now we're gonna just shoot them from this position as soon as you as you see there's uh, only uh, there's only uh, there was three on two now it's two on one so all good And now we're just gonna push on this SU-100. Unfortunately, we flopped the shot, but this one we'll get in and we cleared him for our fourth kill. So we bounced 300 uh, damage, dealt 1,736 damage, received second class, top gun, uh, four kills, 
44,000 credits earned as you can see with it 1048 XP uh, and we cost 1267 assistant damage because we were spotting for our team so uh, even without a premium account as you can see you will get almost 20k with a premium we'll get over 44k and that's all for this episode so if you uh, like me to put a review of your favorite tank or a tank you want to buy please uh, give me uh, your uh, type of tank you want me to uh, do uh, in the comments if you want to send me a replace join my discord server i would put the link uh, in the description and that's all for today so take care bye bye and see you all on the battlefield